Nigeria economy hardship. So apparently yesterday in Lagos, seven person allegedly died while trying to get by the custom customized with bad rice. Unfortunately, guys, but I cannot confirm the uh the certain number of people that died but what i can confirm is i saw videos online of some persons being rushed to the hospital by some persons already confirmed dead by the crowd it's quite unfortunate it's really really quite unfortunate because of the stampede because of the numbers of people that came there to buy bag of rice yesterday uh was so so overwhelming but some people were able to get the bag of rice so what we know the details that we know from uh, yesterday's uh, custom uh, sales of rice is that the only venue was in lagos yes the only venue was in lagos and it sold for ten thousand naira, 25 kg for ten thousand naira. you know a normal big bag is 50 kg but custom was selling 25 kg for 10,000 naira so that you can go around for 10,000 and again if you do not have your NIN number sorry there is no bag for you even if you bring 1 million naira they will not give you 10,000 naira and your NIN number and before you are issued the bag of rice your NIN number will be scanned scanned and then you can go home to to uh to get your own bag of rice with your 10,000 naira, 25 kg. Confirmed 25 kg. People already confirmed it. They say, yeah, this is a real confirmed 25 kg. Because sometimes when we go to market to buy 25 kg and we take it home to confirm, it's not usually 25 kg. Some will be 23 kg, some will be 24 kg because of uh, these greedy marketers. But one thing I want to make this clear, it's quite unfortunate that people were passing out yesterday people were able revived yes some people were unfortunate like i said i cannot confirm if, if anyone was dead but apparently according to what the internet were reporting yesterday they said seven persons allegedly uh, lost their life yesterday due to the stampede so could custom have easily uh like could they have done it better than what they did yesterday yes i think so by opening so many venues but again you know people do not trust each other you might open another venue and the other certain things are happening there or go to this other best things are happening there but yet i think it has to do with trust trust your officers to do the right thing and caution them to do the right thing well nigerians will always be nigerian but it is a welcome development yesterday nigerians i don't know how you guys want to be pleased let us be honest. It started in Lagos. The only thing is that I want it to go around all states in Nigeria. So we do not know. This is custom now. Custom Nigeria Abbey. Custom Nigeria belongs to all Nigeria, right? It's not only Lagos. What you guys are doing, it kind of like look like, you know, come on, man, that uh, you guys are discriminating other states. So please, uh, to the custom, to the Nigeria federal government, this is a real welcome development. People are asking, why should custom be sharing a seized bag of rice? As Nigeria come to this, I don't understand. You guys will complain today that custom are destroying food. Custom are burning food, destroying food that they should have given to the poor. Now, they are giving it to Nigerians. You guys are still complaining. Yes. They are giving it to Nigerians now. You guys are still complaining. So what do you want them to do? You choose one now. Because people are saying, how did Nigeria get to this? That custom will be sharing uh, cis food. What, an, what a country. Like, they playing the system. They playing the process of them sharing those food. So please, come up with a better idea that can put food, put rice on people's table in Lagos, now, 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 as you speak. No. And yet, in the same vein, you guys will condemn custom for burning 
for destroying such food stuff because we are seeing custom destroy a lot of goods before we are seeing custom destroy chickens frozen chickens burn all of them we have seen they destroy destroy a lot of things before let's be honest now they are giving it to public and you guys are complaining again so for me i think it's a welcome development but they should share it around they should go to each each state i want to buy that bag of rice yesterday in fact i made a lot of calls i was asking where should i get this bag of rice in abuja no i asked my people back home they say nothing like that over there it's just in lagos why only in lagos not the only lagos the hungry pass now i am hungry i have my ten thousand naira, and i have my nim ready and i'm willing to go to any venue to get mine to get mine honestly I'm willing to go to any venue to get mine. So please, they should readily make it available for every Nigerians. Every Nigerians. Customers have a lot of uh, food stuff in their warehouses. Not only uh, rice. They have beans. They have maize. They have granite. They have oil. Red oil. Chicken. Frozen food fruits and so many other stuff let them bring it out let or let them empty custom so that they can restart seizing other materials again you understand let them bring it out nigerians are hungry now this is not the time to hide any food stuff bring them out custom and nigerians are willing to buy and they have nin and again if custom can use nin to share food so easily like that so that means we can use our NI hand to vote without doing redoing this voter's card. <laughs> without redoing this voter's card. I begin to see voter's card as a scam. With my NI hand, I can just walk into any uh, voting unit to vote. I think the government should, should uh, look into that because custom, without ever asking anybody to register, they use the NI hand. Scan your hand and hand to determine you are in Nigeria and you collect your food. Why the country do that with uh, cost, uh, with uh, uh, our voting uh, process as well? Hmm? Why can't we? So we, I honestly I do not know if this was initiated by the Lagos State or this was initiated by the President Tunubu. Custom is for Nigeria, but the thing is quite sketchy. Yeah, it's really, really sketchy, guys. I don't know. I don't know who initiated this, but uh, I think we should. Uh, I think there was a memo that was sent out previously. I think there was a memo that was sent out uh, previously. So let me read this memo. According to the Custom Service Launched Initiative to uh, uh advert food scarcity in Nigeria. They say the controller general of custom, uh, Bashir, has expressed commitment to align with the president Bola Ahmed led administration plan to tackle the present issue of school insecurity by ensuring the availability of essential food items to Nigeria. Speaking of the flag off of right dis uh, disbursement program in Lagos on Thursday, February, uh Adeyemi stressed the importance of transparency and accountability in distribution process, urging Nigeria participating in the exercise to refrain from selling the rice in the market or holding it for purpose other than domestic consumption. Okay, this is uh, initiated. This is initiated by the uh, uh, Comptroller General of Custom because it's aligned with uh, the Tinubu-led administration, of course they may have discussed it so this is not only lagos alone it just started in lagos so we are waiting for it to go to every other state so this is not a lagos thing it's a nigeria thing and again he said nigeria should do all them and nigeria should do re resell them that bag they said is clearly written no resell no resell it's clearly written on that bag not to be resold, FG custom, federal government custom, not to be resold. And please, again, he urged everybody 
to be law abiding. It's not as if some certain big men will go there, buy stuff, buy these rice, and rebuy them to sell them at a higher price. Please, I beg. Eh? This is not the time to be greedy with Nigeria life. Eh? I beg. If you are a big man, live there. Live there. Don't buy so many. Don't use your influence to gather this so much to resell to the public. I beg. I beg. Have human sympathy. That's why I keep saying it. It's about time the federal government introduced a topic called humanity. Starting from primary school down to the university polytechnic tertiary education. It's about time they introduce humanity to our to our courses. Yes, there's a need. Because the way that we are growing up in Nigeria, we do not have single law for ourselves. We may have made mistakes in the past as country, but this is the time to move forward. Start preaching love within ourselves. Teach Nigerians, say, apart from making businesses, there is what we call humanity. Apart from carrying out your duty in office, there's what we call humanity. Let it be there. Let it be, let it be known that you are not a robot. You are a man with blood flowing through his or her veins, and you are talking to another man with blood flowing, flowing through his or her, uh, her body. You know, let them introduce a cause called humanity to for us to start sharing love with ourselves. Because Nigeria do not love each other. Not our fault because of the story that we were told years ago and we keep hearing about the stories. It's not as if you hear about the story, but tell us the story and let us know the progress that we have made as a country in order for us to move forward. Let us start teaching our kids that. Let us start re-educating our, our, our students. Not always doing this white man's book white man uh, 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 courses, all those kind of stuff. This is a democracy and we should carry out democracy according to the way it fits us. We need love in this country, most importantly. This food crisis, hardship in Nigeria, will actually tell you that there is no love. There is no love. There are so many things in the market eh, that so many things in the market that Dollar do not affect, but they just increase it, just for increasing sake. Everybody just want to make profit, maximize of profit. Just want to make profit, 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 profit. See, killing the system, killing the system, killing the system, killing the system. Even killing themselves, but they, but they do not know because if you decide to increase this more than what. You bought it way more than what were like triple or times 10 of the price. You still go and buy from someone else now. You will still feed, right? No man is an island. So I think, oh, so uh, rest in peace. Those people who lost their life yesterday. They are so continue to rest in paradise. And uh, it's quite unfortunate. I wanted to spread around. So let me know exactly how you feel, guys. A boy again. I'm sleeping. Catch you next time.